So, boy, these podcasts, I'll tell you Why what. Why you lean back, Jay? I said, I know I was Kyler like, Murray man. wrote on social media, mm. quote, this isn't true. You on some weird blank. You got my number if you really felt like this as a, quote, big bro or mentor, you're supposed to call me and tell me, not drag me, so your podcast can grow. Guys, I thought that's – I actually think yeah, that's, that's cool. an interesting that response. Kyler, yeah. No, that's cool. <clears throat> if, if, if that's what it is. Because he's not up, saying I'm not phone. like that. He's not saying I'm not like that. He's saying, dude, if I am like that, yeah, just pick up the phone and let me tell know. me. Oh, I ain't got no problem with that. Jay will tell you the heartbeat. If I feel like yeah, something, I pick up the phone and tell call Just me. say, Jay, Yo. <laughs> that ain't what we doing, dog. <laughs> I ain't got no problem with it, Max. It ain't what we doing. Let's mm-hmm. do it this way. That, that's a good way of doing it. That's the best way of doing it, right? But they obviously don't have that type of relationship. Mm-hmm. Even if you, you understand what I'm saying? They clearly don't have that relationship where Pat Pete feels like, I can pick up the phone and tell him that. But answer me this, y'all. Uh, the two years that we've been doing our show. Oh, one or two. Two years, Max. Has there been one player or former player that has came to the defense of Kyler Murray? Every player that I've heard talk about it, it's been something critical of Kyler Murray. I have not heard one player come to his defense. Now, I'm not saying that makes Kyler Murray a bad dude, but it does put things into perspective a little bit for me yeah. about what's going on. I'm not, I'm not, I've never played with him. Yeah, I, I, that's um, what I said. I'm not saying it no, makes know, him a bad know, dude, but I know, usually I'm, when things happen like that, Key, someone, other dudes come to the their quarterback? defense. The quarterback, the leader? The franchise no, quarterback I, I, got I, paid? What I was going to say is I haven't played with him. I'm not in the locker room. <laughs> But I certainly have been around sports long enough to know that when a, you don't have a teammate or a former teammate coming to your defense about something and deflecting it away from you, there's probably a problem something in that situation. On. Yeah, it, Because literally everybody says something negative about Kyler Murray's behavior. They put something in his contract to try to teach him or try to get him to study more. That, you know, you saw him screaming at the coach on the sideline. It looked like a, a looked like somebody's kid yelling at their parent. You know, it's just like one of those situations. And I think players kind of get tired of. The, see, you're seeing it happening with Russell Wilson. By the way, Key, now that you're saying it. that, like, look at the quote again. If you really felt like this as a big bro or mentor, who says he's a big bro or mentor? You know what I mean? That's Ky- what I said. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. Kyler. Like you really probably don't rock with him like he's that. Like, he's like, dude, I'm not your teammate anymore, right? Yeah. And so so that's not how I feel about you. That's yeah. not the relationship we had. and You know? So so no, Kyler, he just doesn't like you. And by the way, that's a bad feeling. If you, if you yeah. don't dislike someone else and they dislike you, that hurts your feelings. Kyler Murray got his feelings hurt. Yeah. It's a real thing. No, I don't, I'm not happy it's about a, that. Or it's, it's, it's unfortunate, <clears throat> but Kyler Murray kind of poo pooed the air raid offense and the scheme that they're running. And Cliff Kingsbury did draft you number one overall and got rid of Josh Rosen for you. So that at least, see, because if it was me, I'm rolling with my coach. If I'm, if, yeah. if it, I'm rolling with long, my coach, all day long. I'm rolling with but my see, coach. Max, I, I took the, the quote and the Big bro, the mentor comment as like, yo, like that's how maybe you portray yourself to me, mm-hmm. like when we were rocking together. But the reality is like that maybe is not the way he feels. But he tro- maybe he Peterson tried did. and but just Pat got Pete, and after a while Pat figured he was only there with him for about I, I believe a year, a maybe. year, maybe one or two, no more than that. It's not like Pat Pete was there with him for a long extended period. And once of time. again, I don't have insight to, to the details. He was of the there relationship, with him. For, he was there but with I have him. had dudes like older than me on teams I played with. Like, yeah, I'm your big bro, but I'm like. You ain't really. You know what else, guys? Look at there's a lot, bro, bro. There's a lot. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Come on, man. (laughs) There's a lot in that quote, guys. If you really break it down, all day. (laughs) He's talking about not drag me so your podcast can grow. This is something that a lot of people talk about for clicks. You're doing this for this. You're doing this, and and I I want to address that for just a quick second. That's the culture we live in. It is true that that will lead to more popularity, and you are in a business, and you do want it to grow. But I don't think. It didn't sound to me like when Peterson said this, he was thinking, twirling his mustache, I'm going to say this and drag him so my podcast can grow. You grow your podcast by being honest but and be, by it. giving people insight into things. And and so, like, th- both but, those things are true. But that's an easy cop-out for somebody that don't like what's being said right. about mm-hmm. them on a podcast. Right. The first thing people go, say... The first thing people say is, oh, you're just trying to say this about me to get clicks so I can hype you up. 
because you think you bigger than that podcast. So you think people are using you to grow the podcast. By the way, this is whatever radio shows. I'm not trying to drag Kyrie real quick, Jay. I'm not. But like when he said that to Nick Friedel, I was thinking, wait, but Kyrie, yes, it is true. It helps his business to ask you this question. We're all in business, right? But that's not why he's asking. He's not thinking, oh, now I'm going to blow up off this. He's thinking this happened and I I have to ask him. I I like like when players respond back to people, right? Like it's almost because it, it, it tells me a little bit that there's fight in Kyler Murray. To a degree, like there's fight in him, like and, and that that's a kind of, it brings me to an alternative point though. Like when I hear Richard Sherman, those guys talk about Russell Wilson, but I never hear Russell Wilson address it. I'm like, no, address it. This is not who you are. You got to fight back, man. Because if not, people will label you, and people just start running away with narratives. To a point, but there's also the counter, yeah. which is Jay. I can't. So I, if you if you if you roll around well, in, Max, on, on the street, old, you're going to get mud on you. Like there's that's no that's way. An old narrative. That's not the new way well, these it's, days, it's, man. It's, no, it's not. It's not old days. or new, Jay. It's just it's just a different way of looking at it. No, I hear you, but that's that's the way they used to look at it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.